you to here and welcome to another foot drive video on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. But in this video right here, it's going to be a bit of a different one. I'm going to be showing you guys all of my best tips to get a 190, a 191 or even a 192 rated draft. So, these have probably been the most popular videos on YouTube at the moment. The 191 and the 192 rated impossible draft challenge. Now, personally, I've never really done any of these just because I find them to be a bit clickbaity and that's not really how I like to do my videos. But since they've been very popular, a lot of people have been trying to get 190 plus drafts. I thought I'd do a video on them because I've had a lot of very high rated drafts. I have had some very, very good drafts this year. And uh, yeah, I thought I would give you guys my best tips on how to get the best foot draft that you can on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Now obviously this won't guarantee you to get a 191 or a 192 rated draft. It takes a lot of time. But if you guys get the right players to pop up, which you can do by following a couple of different tips. And if you manage to pick the right players and the right formations, and most importantly you get lucky, you can get some very, very good foot drafts. Now also, if I do sound a bit different in this video, I do actually have a cold at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I might sound a little different. But without further ado, let's go on into the draft and I'll show you my tips. So here are the formations, guys. Now the two formations that you want to go for above all other is the 3-4-3 and the 3-4-2-1. Now these formations have got a left forward and a right forward, or a left winger and a right winger, and also a right and left mid. Now this is very good because if you get players like Ronaldo and Neymar or Bale and Messi, uh, for example, you get one in the main team and one on the bench, then you are uh, then going to be able to fit both of them into the same team. And also they only have three at the back and uh, the defenders are generally the lowest rated players on the pitch. So you want to have less of them. You want to have more strikers. So personally, I do prefer the 3-4-2-1 or the 3-4-3. If you do get the options of some of the 4-3-3s, go with the one that has the most centre mids. Uh, the most attacking one normally. So either go with the 4-3-3, uh, just the normal one. That's my personal favourite of the 4-3-3s. Three, three, so if it does come out, uh, because all the uh, Team of the Year midfielders are centre mids. Uh, also, you can take the fourth variation of that as well. Other formations that are quite good, pretty, pretty much any of the three at the back formations, especially the 3-4-1-2. Uh, uh, that is quite good. And also the, uh, I believe it is the 5-2-2-1. Two, two, one. That one there is probably the best five at the back formation. But uh, yeah, we are going to go with the 3 4 2 one formation right here. Also, guys, you can't get Ronaldo or Messi as left mids. You can only get them as a left wing or a right wing or a right forward and a left forward. But you can obviously play them as a right or left mid. That is why these formations are very, very good. So we're going to go and see what the captain choice is going to be. We get two options here. Now, you guys are probably going to be thinking take Team Lee and Messi. But Suarez is rarer, in my opinion, than Messi. I very, very often will get Team of the Year Messi later on in the draft. However, a very high-rated striker is vital for a high-rated foot draft. So, I'm going to take the hero uh, Suarez here. For example, Ronaldo, you don't want to take him. This is normal card. He's got a lot of high-rated cards. So, you want to stay off taking a normal card for a Ronaldo or Messi, a player like that. Ibrahimovic, you don't really want to take unless everyone else is bad. Uh, because there aren't that many high-rated league on players other than uh, Di Maria. De Bruyne you don't want to take because you don't really want to go down the BPL route. So in this case, it would just be between these two guys here. And a very high rated striker is very important. And I very often will get more Team of the Year Messi's than I will a high rated striker. And also, I wouldn't mind trying out the brand new 97 Hero Suarez. So we'll take that card right there. Left uh, wing position. We are, we are going to get a couple of different options now. Uh, Di Maria has a couple of high rated cards, so I don't really want to take that. Candreva and Mkhitaryan, we don't really want to take. Williams, we're going for a 190, he's 76 rated, we don't want him. So I'm just going to take Silva for the bench uh, and hope that we do get uh, Messi and Bale later on in the draft or maybe someone like Carlos Vea as well. So now we'll take the left forward position and hopefully we're going to get someone good. We get Paolo Futre, uh, inform Neymar, we get the new uh, man of the match Royce and we get Ronaldo. Now again, I'm not, not going to take that Ronaldo card. Paolo Futre is uh, only 87 rated, so I'm going to take the Neymar card right here. Uh, he does have some high rated informs, but I feel it is the best choice and it is going to get some very good chemistry to Suarez. Now, legends in the left and right wing position, you don't normally want to take them unless uh, they are kind of the best uh, of a bad pick of players. Maybe you've got a normal Ronaldo and then just some standard informs. Uh, you then want to take the legend, but normally the legends are quite low rated. In the midfield and defence, legends are good, but up front you want to be trying to get Ronaldo, Messi, Bale, and uh, Neymar, players like that. So we're going to take Neymar. That is going to get some chemistry to Suarez. Left mid position, you want to Hamas Rodriguez if you can, but we don't get anyone who's going to link. Uh, I mean, uh, we can obviously get the weak links with Sandro and Coutinho, but Coutinho is the highest rated at 86. 
And so when no one really fits into your team, you just want to go with the highest rated players. So we are going to go with Coutinho. Right mid position, uh, we want just a high rated player, really. Now, Mata would get that link to Silver, but I don't really want to use either of them in the team. Hulk would be the best player for rating. Now, if you do already have some good links for chemistry, so for example, if I already had Messi or someone who got a good link to Suarez, then I'd take Hulk for the rating. But I may have to use Mata. I mean, he's still at 84 rated. I would take that to get a link to Silver. So I'm going to take him. But if you do have uh, quite a bit of chemistry already on the wing, if you already get someone who links, I would take the highest rated in Hulk. But if you already have someone who doesn't link, you might potentially have to build into a hybrid. And also, if I do get a Spanish centre mid, for example, like Iniesta, then I can link back into the Liga BBVA. So in this case, their matter is probably the best option. Now, these positions right here, I don't recommend taking. I recommend now moving down onto the bench uh, and reserves and trying to get some more high risk players for your team. So we get 96 Ronaldo, we get Benzema, and we get 89 Royce. Now, Ronaldo, don't take any of his cards below 96. Uh, and uh, don't even take the 96 if it comes up as a captain choice. The only cards you want to take as a captain for Ronaldo will be 97 and uh, 98. And for Messi, probably 96 or the team of the year card. But normally, uh, I would take this card anywhere like past the uh, bench or reserves. I would want to take this card because it's still very high rated. And he's going to improve the team if I slot him into the team right here. Now, moving on to the next bench position, or the next reserve position rather, we get a couple of different options. Now we have the left wing Di Maria, we have Adriano, uh, and we've got some other players. I am personally going to take Di Maria right now. Just for the rating, you need a very high rated bench for uh, a very high rated draft. Now on the bench, next, we don't get anyone who's going to link. I'm going to take Rudy just because uh, it doesn't really matter right there. This is what should be someone good. We get Schmeichel. Now that is perfect because you need a high rated goalkeeper and it's very rare to get a high rated goalkeeper. So Schmeichel there is very, very good. Uh, next up, we're going to get Man of the Match Muller. Now he's a high rated player and he would link to Rudy. So I could use him. I could also use DeMarcos off chemistry. Or I could use Martinez, or I could use Trishoras. Now, I really need the chemistry in this team. I don't want to maybe get a 90 rating and then 95 chemistry or something. So I'm going to take Trishoras in this case here. But for example, maybe instead of Rudy, if I'd have got Granero or another Spanish centimeter or another Liga BBVA centimeter, in that case, I'd have taken Muller. But in this case, since I don't have any options, I want to make sure that I get full chemistry. So in this case, I will take Trishoras. Now, uh, moving in to the next bench position, we're going to get another forward. We're going to need to try and get Messi in one of these positions here. Now, we have Mkhitaryan here. In this case here, Messi is pretty important. However, I can use Trishoras and get that right side on good chemistry, but it's just not really going to have the rating. So who do we get here? We get Sanchez. We get Royce. I'm going to be taking Royce because no one else links. And uh, yeah, Royce is going to get the chemistry. Now, these two positions here are forwards. These two positions here are midfielders. These ones here are defenders. And this one here is the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper always leave to last, even if you do pick the main team. But I reckon moving down onto the bench. Now, if you do have a formation like the 4 3 3, just go with the striker and the wingers, then move down onto the reserves. Uh, but so, uh, yeah, in this case here, I have gone with my other wingers as well, uh, in case I've got maybe a Hamas Rodriguez or a Bale or someone who could link into the team. Now, the two midfielders, we're going to see who we get. We need uh, another player who can potentially link to uh, our Spanish midfielders. Now, Herrera, in this case here, is perfect. He's the highest rated player and he is going to get a, a lot of good chemistry in the team. So that kind of gets that whole right side of the team on good chemistry. Now, we have not really had the best of players in this draft. We have had a legend, though, which has been quite good. But here, no one links, so I'm going to be taking Lalana. So now, we can move into the actual midfield, because we've got two midfield options that we already know uh, are going to work. We can use Trishoras right here, and we can use Herrera right here. So what I'm going to do is now try and get someone else right here. We get a 90-rated uh, Iniesta. Now, potentially taking Muller would have been a good idea, because Vidal... Could have linked him but we didn't take him but we will take the 90 rated iniesta and i'll be very very good now who do we get next to him we get uh no one who's going to fit into the team and castro is our highest rated we already have either trashoras or herrera who can make it into the team they're both the same rating it's not really going to matter too much so i'm just going to take castro because he is the highest rated in this case here swap them around 
and then we can use uh, Herrera right here. Now that's got us up to some decent chemistry. Everyone so far other than Ronaldo has all the links that they do need to get them on full chemistry. So moving on to the defense, you want to go with Liga BPA generally. Now that is what you want to do if you are going for a 190 plus rated draft. You have to go Liga BPA for the whole team really. However, there are a few exceptions. For example, record breaker Buffon or even just his normal card and Chiellini, they're two very high race players and they both get hyperlinked. You can also use maybe Team of the Annoyer and Bad Stuber or Boateng. Players like that, if you do get someone like Barzagli, Bonucci, Chiellini, uh, anyone like that really in your defence, and there aren't really any really good uh, options from the uh, Liga BBVA, I recommend going with them because you can incorporate some good players into your team and they do still get good chemistry. But we are going to move on to the defence and see who we get in this draft right here. We start off with a man of the match for Ran. That is a very, very good player right there. And now what you really do need is a high-rated version of Godin or someone like maybe a team of the year. Um, Ramos is what you need really for a very high-rated draft. Now we do have Martinez and he does get two Spanish links uh, in the team once we do put in. I think it's going to be uh, Trishoras that we're going to put in or maybe Herrera. I'm not too sure how I'll mix the team about. I'll probably do that. Uh, but uh, he does get a couple of links. He should still be on six chemistry, so that is not too bad. Who do we get next to him? We're going to get an 86 PK, which is not bad at all. Uh, 86 rated, I will take that. Now, I'm going to leave the goalkeeper position just after I've done these two centre-back positions here. You know, never know, I might get a Boateng, which could then mean that I uh, might want to go with a Bundesliga keeper in goal. Uh, and then have Javi Martinez on full cam. You never really know. So who do we get here? We get uh, a Matthew. I'll take Matthew. 83 rated. He can slot into the team right there. And you never know, we could bring Javi Martinez in if it's going to get us enough chemistry. Now we know that we can take uh, whatever goalkeeper we want, really. And we already have Schmeichel, so I'm just going to do this. And now we have got two more uh, positions down here to go with. So uh, we have got a, a full team, really. So I can just go with the highest rated player, really. I'm going to go with Garay. And then in goal, I'm again going to go with the highest rated goalkeeper that comes up. And that is going to be... Uh, Guzan. So we've got a 188 so far and uh, I'm just going to uh, do a couple of different changes to the team which I would normally do and uh, I will show you guys exactly what I do to kind of boost the rating once I've finished the team. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is order the players in uh, order of rating on your bench. So we're going to start off with Royce right here. Now uh, you want all the high rated players to be on your bench obviously but uh, also changing around the order of the players can sometimes boost your rating. That is because foot draft is quite slow to refresh. So sometimes uh, mixing the players about will cause that to refresh and will cause your rating to change. So you want to put them in order of rating like this. Uh, so uh, just going to change everyone. That does also include uh, your players down on the uh, bench and uh, reserves. So you want to go all the way down to the reserves when you are doing this. Uh, and that can sometimes bring your rating up. So just going to do that. That is everyone in the right order. Now... Now we can kind of see what we want to do to change the rating uh, of the team and kind of mix it about and see what other options we can go with. So, we can try and take out Herrera uh, and put in uh, Trashoras. That doesn't change anything right there. We can uh, try some other things. Let's try Javi Martinez in place of uh, this guy here. That still gets us the same chemistry, 100 chemistry. He is going to be off chemistry though and that does not increase our overall rating. But uh, yeah, you can even try like uh, very, very random choices. For example, putting uh, an outfield player in goal, maybe just to get some extra chemistry to some of your other players. So what other options can we do? You could sometimes just switch players around and that can occasionally boost your rating up. So you wanna be kind of trying everything that you can. So we can maybe go with, let's see. We could use uh, maybe Royce out wide here with uh, Castro and then Mkhitaryan that could, potentially bring the rating up right there because they're all pretty high rated. That actually brings us to a 189. So, see that very small change actually changed the rating. Now try and swap these players around here, see if that can make a difference. Swap them around, that could potentially change the rating. Uh, swap them, that gets us down a bit of chemistry, so we want to put him back right there. Uh, now we can change the bench around again, put that in order, that could get us closer to that 190 because at the moment we're at a 189 and yeah, we could potentially get a 190 if we do uh, kind of mix the team about a bit more. So I'm going to swap Trash, uh, Trashoras there and Herrera, that could potentially bring the rating up. We have got quite a good bench in reserves, the lowest rated player is 77, we haven't had any silvers, which is pretty good. Uh, so now we can maybe mix them about, that uh, doesn't change the rating. Uh, we could, what else can we do? Maybe try Javi Martinez now, that could bring the rating up a very small amount. 
No, it doesn't. Uh, we could uh, put him over here, actually. And then we can put him there. And that gets us a slightly higher rating because we've gone up by two for the defender. And that still gives us full chemistry on everyone except uh, Royce, who's out of position right there. So that's pretty good. Uh, we've got slightly more rating. So now, again, swap them about. Maybe swap them about, see if that will update the rating. What positions do I have higher rated players in uh, to upgrade really? So if we look at the defense, that is the highest rated defense I have. I've got an 83, an 86, and an 85, and they are my three highest rated defenders. We do also have Garay and Matthew, who are the same rating as Varane. We can swap them out, see if that does make any difference, and it does not. Now we've got the two uh, center mids right here. The two highest rated center mids I have are 90 rated and uh, also uh, 82 rated. So we've got the two highest rated center mids there. There's nothing we can change to bring the rating up there. Now left wing, we've got Ronaldo uh, already, and uh, yeah, Ronaldo is not going to be changing the team about, uh, really, if, if I take him out, other than for uh, the bad, uh, for the worst, he's gonna make the team rating go down. So we wanna keep Ronaldo in, obviously. Neymar, uh, we don't have any higher rated players than Neymar to replace him with. Mkhitaryan, we do have these players down here, but they aren't really gonna change the team. As you see, if we uh, put them in there, it does not bring the rating up to that 90 rating that we do need. So now we can swap them about, do this, and then put him back there. And now, uh, you can maybe try and like swap the team about a bit side to side, then bring it back. It can occasionally change the team. Very, very rarely, but occasionally it can. As you can see there, it has not changed uh, the overall rating of the team. But all these little things, you want to be trying them out. You want to be mixing everything about, trying every different option, really. Now... I reckon if we had someone like a team of the year, uh, maybe uh, Neymar or a team of the year Messi, we could have had a higher rating. But uh, so far we have got 189, 189. Sorry. Now for the manager choice, what you want to do is just press X for each one and see which players they affect and what your chemistry will be. So going through here, uh, definitely the best boost is for uh, the Spanish manager right there. The Brazilian, uh, two Brazilian managers will affect Neymar, and then uh, the French one will affect Varane. So I'm going to use Martinez, doesn't really make any difference, it does get us the extra chemistry on a few of these players. So now if you w w go to your overall foot draft summary, you want to look at the forwards, midfielders and defenders rating, see which ones need to be improved. So if I get all the way up to an 84 uh, defense rating from an 83, that will give me a 190. So uh, as I did say earlier, I can't improve the defense, I've got all the highest rated defenders. The midfielders is at 85, and we can't improve the midfield either. And finally, the forwards is at uh, 86 right there. But uh, we have got some very, very good top players. As you can see, 97 uh, Suarez, 90 Iniesta, and Legend Michael is very, very good. But I'm going to just try a couple more things to potentially mix the team about and maybe boost the rating. Now, if you have a left and a right mid, and a left and a right forward, or a left and a right winger, Try and mix them about, because if uh, Royce, for example, is here, he's going to be affecting the midfield rating. But if he is up front, he's going to be affecting the attacker rating. So if you mix them about, uh, now the midfield rating will go down slightly, but the attacker rating is going to go up a bit as well. So that could also change the team. Now, I know it's not going to be the best for chemistry, but you can also do a change like that. And then potentially mix another player about in the midfield or defense to get that extra three chemistry that would be needed. But there, that does not change the overall rating. So... Overall, this is probably the best we can do. We've mixed about pretty much everything we can do. I mean, we can maybe see if the rating does refresh by just doing this or anything. But as you can see, it hasn't really done anything. But we have got a 189. And it's a very, very good draft. I mean, we've got Legend Schmeichel. We've got 90 Iniesta, 96 Ronaldo, 91 Neymar, 97 Suarez. And also the uh, Man of the Match uh, Royce out there. But, yeah, this could have probably been a 190. We had maybe a team of the year Iniesta, uh, potentially a team of the year Ronaldo. I don't really know if that much uh, would uh, have brought it up to a 190. Team of the year Neymar would have probably given us a 190. And maybe a team of the year Messi or someone out here. But anyway, I'm still very, very pleased with the draft. It is a very, very good draft and my joint best of the year. I've had so many 189s though, and we are trying to get that 190 on the YouTube channel. But, hopefully these tips have helped you guys out. So I'll just run over some of the key tips. You want to go with the 3-4-2-1 uh, formation or the 3-4-3 if they are available. They're the two formations that are going to get you the 190 plus rated drafts. Next up, you want to go with the Liga BBVA draft. It doesn't matter if you want to go with a hybrid or whatever. You're not going to get a 190 draft if you go with players who aren't in the Liga BBVA because you've got Ronaldo, you've got Messi, Bale, Neymar. All of those high rated players are in the Liga BBVA. So you want to go 
with the Liga BBVA route. Next up, you want to start with your striker and wingers, and then you want to move down onto the reserves and the bench. You want to leave out the defenders and the goalkeeper. Then you want to move onto your midfielder and uh, defense of your team, then move down onto the bench. Uh, to finish off the team uh, like I have done in this video right here and that is going to give you the best chances of finding the best players to give you the best chemistry and you're going to know who you need when those options do come up and finally tip number five make sure that you put your bench in order of rating so you want to be starting off with the highest rated players on the bench and moving down to the lowest rated players on your reserves put them all in order make sure all your highest rated players are on the bench because that is going to mix about all of uh, the uh, ratings and everything like that. You want the high rated players to be on the bench uh, rather than on the reserves because they're going to boost your rating if they are on the bench. And also guys, don't forget to just mix the team about for probably like 10-15 minutes. Just mix the team about, mix every different option you could potentially have to give you the best chemistry that you can get. So that means even just uh, swapping uh, maybe uh, one player who's the same rating out for another player of exactly the same rating that can occasionally bring your team uh, rating up by just refreshing the overall rating. Foot draft is a bit weird. You can uh, very occasionally get a 190 draft just by mixing about one player on the reserves. If you had a 189, and for example in this case here we mixed about Herrera and Bernaglio, in some cases that could get you a 189. So you want to try every different possibility out to try and get yourself the highest rated foot draft that you can. So if this video did help you out, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash a like on the video down below, share it on Twitter, and all that good stuff like that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash the like, subscribe, and you, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Yeah.